Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the Vol Ages Hollywood Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Wednesday, November the 26th. Now, some of you guys might have noticed I did not do a daily vlog yesterday. And the reason for that is because I was so demoralized trying to get a PlayStation 5, even going on Facebook Marketplace and offer up, that I still failed to secure a PlayStation 5, even after messaging people five or ten minutes before a listing goes up, and still not getting offers or getting told it's sold or other people taking higher offers because I refuse to pay scalper prices. I will pay basically $700 tops for a PS5. I don't want to pay more than that. I'm not feeding scalpers. I don't mind giving a little bit to people that help out, but I'm not going to give an arm and a leg. Tonight is the night that PlayStation 5 has become available at Walmart. The last three times I've tried doing Walmart, I've been a failure at getting a PS5, and I've been failing to get a ps5 for over two weeks now without feeding the scalpers i'm not paying a thousand dollars for a playstation 5 i'm not paying 900 dollars for a playstation 5 i don't even want to pay 800 dollars for a playstation 5 because for 300 dollars you can get at least four to five games and i'm just not going to feed the scalpers now if it's like a bundle that has a bunch of games i do have the option of either selling the games or returning them to Best Buy, but I really don't want to buy a bundle if I don't have to. I want to buy the console itself. I already have Spider-Man, Miles of Morales, and Demon Souls. I don't need more games. I could always just play some of my PlayStation 4 games. I have a five terabyte hard drive specifically for PlayStation 4 games or even data for a PlayStation 5. I'm not sure how that works. If you can just transfer the data over to a PS5 and just play the PS5 games that way. I also found out that you need a generation for SSD because the PS5 transfers at 5 gigabits a second. M.2 is about 3.5 gigabits a second. So if you want even faster times, you're going to need a Generation 4 SSD. And the only place that you can get one of them currently is Western Digital. You can get a 1 terabyte for 249 or a 2 terabyte for 400 and $49. Is it actually worth it to quadruple the storage of your PlayStation by basically paying for another PlayStation? The answer is probably no. However, the fact that that is an option isn't a bad thing. The whole reason I didn't want to get a digital PS5 is that my entire library is physical games. I've seen some decent offers for digital PlayStation 5s in the neighborhood of five to $600, and I haven't picked them up because I don't want to get a digital PS5. I want to get a physical one because I have a bunch of discs, and also the fact that the advantage that a physical console has over a digital console is the fact that you can borrow games from people. You could actually pick up Demon Souls, let a friend borrow it. You can't do that with a digital console. The only thing you could do is if you trust somebody with a login, you could do it that way. However, I still don't recommend buying a digital console over a physical. Yes, you don't have to worry about breaking something. However, if you're careful with your stuff, you shouldn't have that problem. Yes, first year defects are always a thing. Look at the Joy-Con drift problem that the Nintendo Switch has. Luckily, I don't use my Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, so I don't really have that problem. But all consoles have more faults in the first year because they're not in the hands of millions of people that are going to find problems with it whether it be thermal cooling like Joshua 14 mentioned or other things. There's always going to be refinements and products do get better over time. And obviously the only way you're going to find out better improvements is by doing teardown. I know I fixed it did a long PlayStation 5 teardown, but I've been a little bit demoralized as a content creator because I really want to get a PlayStation 5. I remember when I got a PlayStation 4 back in late 2013, some of the stuff I did blew up on my channel. I had over 100 viewers streaming WWE 2K15. Granted, streaming was a lot less common back in 2013, 2014 compared to now where any Joe Blow can do it with a PlayStation 4. I want to get back to prominence. And I think the only way that I'm going to be able to do that is by console gaming. I wish that Injustice 1 Mortal Kombat Mobile, I wish Netherrealm would support their mobile division better. I wish they were like Kabam. I wish they were even like Reliance Games. Reliance Games supports their games monthly. Like, I may not play WWE Mayhem anymore, but I still have a lot of respect for their company. I actually put out updates every month. Yes, some of the updates are pretty shit, where they just add in ridiculously hard fights, like that Rhea Ripley Ultra. I think there was one that had Edge. That was a pain in the ass. But overall, that game 
is better supported than Injustice ever has. And I understand why NetherRealm doesn't want to update their games. That's one of the reasons I'm kind of in a roadblock as a content creator. Yes, I'm probably not going to get the same traction playing Genshin as somebody else pointed out. And this is part of the reason why I want a PlayStation 5. I want to get back on the console grind. I don't mind playing Diablo. Like, when Diablo 4 comes out, I'm definitely going to play that. I know Cyberpunk is another game that Vince and Savage will badly want to check out. And I'll probably end up getting it on PC just so I can play with Vince if there's some, like, co-op things. If it's all single player, I probably won't. But if there is some things to do co-op, I will definitely check that out. Speaking of things to check out, last night, Savage Wolf showed me Cold War Zombies. Game mode actually does look a lot of fun. One of the reasons I did not want to get Cold War, one, I I kind of would like to get it on PlayStation and not PC. And two, the storage on Call of Duty games is so ridiculously high. And I'm pretty sure they don't give you an option to just install parts of the game, kind of like Modern Warfare did. I think it's a huge fail when these games take up 150, 200 gigs and you have 825 gigs of storage. Do they not want you putting other games on there? Are they trying to be like WWE where they just have an exclusive rights? Hey, you have Call of Duty. You can't put anything else on your console. Fuck you is basically what they're saying. And that's not a cool way to go about it. So again, I apologize for not doing a daily vlog yesterday. I wanted to do one with Savage Wolf. I was ready to film, hopefully getting a PS5 because I had a $625 offer in Roseville, but I knew it was too good to be true because the guy said, thanks for the offer. I have one on hold. If I don't hear back, you'll hear from me. Never heard back from the guy. So it goes to show you that there's a lot of fake people out there and a lot of people are looking to scam people and probably because I was legit real no reason to scam me but again i'm not feeding the scalpers i refuse to feed the scalpers and who knows maybe one day i'll get back to work or maybe one day i'll be able to sustain as a content creator luckily i have a lot of money in the bank right now so i can afford to spend a few hundred dollars on a console and still have thousands of dollars to ride behind i haven't even been motivated to play marvel contest of champions those of you guys that have been watching me and even commenting that i haven't been playing marvel contest of champions the reason i've been demotivated outside of playing quest is because I cannot get my hands on a PlayStation 5. Right now, this is the highest priority. I'm going to try at 9 o'clock tonight from Walmart. Somehow, I have a feeling I'm going to fail and somebody's going to pick up a console and either try to rip me off or scalp me. Hopefully, other providers do have a PlayStation 5. I know GameStop said they're going to have a few in store. I noticed Target also does not allow online orders. It has to be picked up. This is a good sign because I have a feeling that they're going to make some available. Hopefully, by by tomorrow hopefully by Friday. But I wonder if you can order online and reserve to pick up in store. I think this is a great idea because you can't have 35 people picking up 35 different PlayStations. And if you have their phone number on record, they're gonna be like, well, you already bought a PS5. Your order is canceled. I don't know if you can actually do that, if there's a way around that, but I think they need to make the PlayStations available in store. I know that all these online retailers want to try online and in stock. Unfortunately, I think the system is a huge giant fail because because bots. If you go into a store, you can't run into bots. The only way you could get multiple PlayStations is if you have multiple locations to go to. And if you track them with a card or an alt ID, you're fucked. You're going to get multiple PlayStations anyways. You're just going to have to do a little bit more work for that. I look forward to doing Thanksgiving over at Annalise's house. I will be doing the daily vlog late tomorrow because I'm going to be doing Thanksgiving dinner with Beth, Annalise, some of her friends, Selena, I think she's got four friends coming all the other. Don't worry, I'm not going to be kissing on anybody. I'm not going to be in six feet range of people. I'm going to be having a good time. I don't have COVID, thank God. I know cases have been getting really bad lately and you can never be too safe, but I'm fine. I am perfectly fine on that front. I'm just in a little bit of a creator funk and a little bit down because I can't get a PlayStation 5. Some of you guys might notice my streaming times have been even more erratic than usual. And part of that is because I want a PlayStation 5. And I appreciate Tony Luzzi seeing a PlayStation 5 available like 40 minutes away and possibly thinking of getting one for me. But I couldn't ask you to do that. I don't want you to go out of your way for me, especially if they end up selling it. But I appreciate the thought. Thank you for watching this daily vlog. We'll see you tomorrow for a Thanksgiving daily vlog. And then over the weekend, I should be with Beth to do more daily vlogs. Although, usually when I'm with her, they're shorter. See you tomorrow.